This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Arn, listen, we can talk about Bobby Eaton wrestling matches all day long, but I think what most of the listeners want to hear is more stories that you have like that of getting to know him in a deeper level and hear more of these stories. When you guys would visit, maybe hanging out in the garage, traveling around, uh, what are some other things that maybe you would talk about? You had families that were similar age. Did you have a lot of things in common? Did Bobby like sports? Did he like other things? Would you guys have, you know, what would you talk about? Was it always wrestling? Would you talk about what was going on? Was he happy with what he was doing, where he was on the card, working in tag teams? What was some of the other stuff that, that you guys would, would share and talk with each other about maybe? You know, that's a funny thing. We didn't talk much wrestling. Okay. We really didn't because we were in different matches, obviously. And, you know, I would always watch his match. And I think he always watched ours, especially if we were traveling together and he wasn't going to get out of there or me get out of there before him. But when we were traveling together, it was, you know, about, 10 out of 10 times we would, you know, ice down a few cold beers and, and we would figure out some music that we liked and we'd go down the road and it would be just some random something he would bring up. And it wasn't about anything that had happened that day or it would be more like, what do you think about this? And it would kind of come off the cuff and we'll be like, oh, Hey, I just wonder what, what what do you think about what do you think about it? what do I think about who what <laughs> and he would say it again and he would say pretty clearly pretty clearly which uh, I wonder now if it was a work he go don't be don't be a smart ass <laughs> okay Bob <laughs> he uh it was just one of those things. And I tell you what he loved more than anything. I, he was a sports fan, Okay. but it, it wouldn't be like he would come in the locker room and say, Hey, did you guys see this or that? Or did you hear about this happen or anything? He would sit down and watch it. And, and I think he would enjoy it. Uh, but the one thing he enjoyed more than anything on this earth, go figure is tennis shoes. Really? The man had a tennis shoe collection that you would not believe. And now he was a blue jean guy or in the day back then, you remember Zubaz? Yes. They were acceptable in any establishment on earth and man, the wrestlers wore them. It was I like, remember the road warriors always wearing them. Yeah, we all did. Man, yeah. it was like traveling in your pajamas. You could go through the airport, go in the arenas, literally in your pajamas. And Bobby had a hell of an assortment, but the tennis shoes back mm. in those days, I'll never forget it. Like the, the Jordans yes, and the top shelf stuff that came out. I mean, high tops, 125 bucks. Oh, now easily. this is in the eighties, 85, 86, $135. And the first time he showed up in a pair of those, I said, damn, Bobby, those are nice. I'm a little tight where the tennis shoe thing goes. You know what I mean? I'm a, I rack, I'm a rack room 39.95 guy. Give me the E-tonics. I'm good to go. <laughs> Those are my granddad's shoes. <laughs> Attaboy. Attaboy. I'm sure me and your granddad have similar tastes. <laughs> Bobby showed up in a pair of those. I went, damn, those are nice. What those cost? And he went, whoa, $135. Man, I almost wrecked. Yeah. How much? $135. And he looked at me and he go, problem? Is there a problem? I said, hey, you're the mark. No right. problem with me. And man, he must have had over that time that I knew him, especially during those years where we're really doing good, the Crockett years and the, probably his first contract with uh, Turner. I bet he had 25 pair of tennis shoes and mm -hmm. high dollars. Yeah. You know, in today's world, man, he could wear those things a couple times on TV, turn around and make a mint, couldn't he? Absolutely. The way stuff, the way things go. But that was like his. That was his thing. That was his thing more than anything was, uh, he loved his, he loved his tennis shoes, man. And how many, uh, how many children did, did he have? He has two boys and a girl, uh, Dustin, Dylan, and Taryn. Okay. Taryn is in the middle. 
saw them growing up. Matter of fact, when we first moved into the Berkshire apartments, doorbell rang. Went, looked out the peephole, peephole, didn't see anybody, didn't hear anybody. Started to walk away, ding, ding. Looked back through the peephole, still didn't see anybody. Okay, because you never knew in those days, you know, you're living in an apartment close to three or four different families that you didn't know, but they knew you and you were healed back in those days. You know, does that make any sense? You never knew what to expect. That's right. No, so I, I, so it makes I, opened, sense. I opened the door and there's Dustin, the oldest. He's in a diaper. Now he's Bobby lived right around the corner. So he has left the, the apartment, came around the corner, went up one set of stairs and rung our doorbell because he knew where we lived. A little bit shocking. I grabbed Dustin by the hand, took him back down to back down to his place. I think he got his butt popped a little bit. That diaper got spunk a little bit. Yikes. Yeah. Uh, and I'm I get it. It's a wrestling podcast, but he's saving us money on our mortgage. You really trust this process? The reviews don't lie. Five star review after five star review. We make it fast, we make it easy, and it's no cost or obligation. Give us a shot to earn your business. I'm telling you, you'll be glad you did, especially if you like keeping more of your own money. You don't need perfect credit or money out of your pocket. So what are you waiting for? Hurry to savewithconrad.com. I'm not even sure it was a diaper, but I think he would have been maybe like three years old or something. But uh, <laughs> that was one of those deals. I looked at Aaron then I went, this was going to be a wild one. Um, so we grew up and I got a chance to, you know, um, we got so many pictures laying over there on the table of mm. growing up with his kids and the evolution of the growth of his kids. 12 years is a long time. Absolutely. You know, so, um, yeah, we got very, very close and, and Donna and the, you know, all the wives back then would go out and eat lunch or whatever the deal was. Cause we were gone all the time. And if they were going to have any life, they had to have a babysitter and go eat some lunch or do something or go visit or go have dinner or whatever it is they did, because if they didn't, you know, not much of a life in those days, because we certainly were on the road and we weren't much help. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.